What's up, everybody? <clears throat> What's up, everybody? My name is Sweet Deet, and thanks for stopping by my channel. If you like what you hear, click the like button. Consider becoming a subscriber. Let's get to it. Are you hip to this band called Wolfpack? You may remember them if you're a part of the music community by releasing a groundbreaking innovative record that was called Sleepify and it was meant for all of their fans to basically put on these blank tracks. They had nothing on it, it was complete silence but they were named and they were just recordings of silence. Um, they put it up on Spotify and they made a lot of money from all of their fans just putting it on whenever they went to sleep to support them and their cause for trying to make more money as a band, etc., etc. While it was a really cool publicity stunt, it actually made them a lot of money and Spotify eventually kind of cut them off from doing it, but not before they made some fat stacks. Why am I mentioning this? Well, I'll tell you. Major artists like Post Malone and Ariana Grande, Casey Musgraves and others are starting to release sleep remixes of their songs. It's obvious they're seeing the power of what this app called Calm, which you may have, um, sort of does for people in their sleep time. So basically, you, if you have a Calm subscription, uh, you can access all of these recorded sounds like rainforest and you know waterfalls or whatever it is that you know makes you feel calm to go to sleep to um, from a you know sonic perspective. So when you have major label artists with major label appeal and an app that's doing incredibly well with downloads and subscriptions, they were bound to meet at some point. It's yet another way that I find that Wolfpack kind of was ahead of the curve and did something so uh, ridiculous. Um, obviously these artists are going back and actually re-recording their music and making calm versions of them. It's kind of funny, Wolfpack kind of started a revolution here. I mean, they were the first ones, to my knowledge, that put together a bunch of blank tracks that people could just put on when they went to sleep that was recorded time for hours and hours and just putting it on repeat so that they could rack up dollars. And, you know, when people go to sleep, if the songs are calm enough, <laughs> I keep using that word calm, um, if they're calm enough, then uh, you can sleep through it and basically rack up a lot of streams which of course will equal tens of dollars. Also, I think this is really cool for the lower tiered artists and the people who are just trying to figure out ways to get their songs out to people. Make a remix of your song, do an acoustic version that's really, really chill and very calm. I can't get enough of this word. It goes back to the idea that I was just having a conversation with an artist in Atlanta just the other day and I was simply saying that once you record the studio version of the song, the one that you kind of had in your brain, don't let the idea stop there and move on. In today's time, you need to be able to stretch that song through many weeks of, and variations. So get an acoustic unplugged performance version of the song, get a studio version of the song, get a second studio version of the song, um, you know, where you're playing live and, and, and such. So any sort of way you can stretch that idea into several versions of the songs gives that song a better chance to win in today's marketplace. And now you too can make calm versions of your song meant for people to sleep through because this is where art is. Anyway, fascinating read, links in the comment box. Tell me what you think. Are you going to make a version of your song that you can sleep through or not? Until next time, I'm Sweet Deet. I'll see you later.